our next session, please welcome Mr. Budiasa Sastra Winata, President of FIAPC Indonesia and FIAPC World President elect in 2020 and 2023. He will speak in the topic of building successful affordable township in Indonesia. Yeah. Chiputra Group was founded in 1981 by the late uh, Mr. Chiputra and has become a publicly listed uh, company in 1994. In over 40 years, our development covers more than 150 projects spread across 33 cities in Indonesia, as well as Vietnam, India, Cambodia, and China. Many of our projects are large-scale integrated sustainable townships with development areas ranging from hundreds to thousands of hectares. Today, I will share with you our experience in successfully developing affordable housing projects in two of, of, of our largest township developments, namely Citaraya Tangerang and Citra Majaraya. Before we delve into the details of our development, I would like to define what affordable housing is and what it is, why is it important for us real estate uh, stakeholders to take part in the development of affordable housing. Affordable housing is generally housing that is geared towards the lower income segment and which allows them to still have 70% of their gross household income to spend on other basic necessities, such as food, education, and uh, medical. Looking at Indonesian real estate market, we can see that we do have a large population, which reached more than 280 million in 2022, with 1.1% annual growth rate. As the population grows, so does the need for new housing. There has been a constant shift in the movement of people living in rural areas to urban areas. Despite the implementation of the 1 million house a year program by the Minister of Public Works and Public housing initiated in 2015, the housing backlog is still increasing. By the end of 2021, the housing backlog in Indonesia reached 12.75 million units, with an average annual increase of 700 to 800,000 households per year. More than 80% of the housing backlog in Indonesia belongs to the low income group market. It is clear how important this group is in shaping the urban areas in the country. Bank Indonesia survey on property price indicates that property prices in the residential market has been consistently rising year over year. The increase in property index can be seen across all housing types with medium-sized housing showing the largest growth followed by the small and large housing. Quarterly growth rate of housing purchased in third quarter of 22 has decreased by 0.22%, led by a decrease in housing purchase in the small house segment. This could be due to the impact of purchasing power among the lower in income segment as housing prices continue to rise. Sales for medium sized and large houses still grow on a quarterly basis. In Indonesia, there are two categories of financing for affordable housing, government subsidized and the non-government subsidized. FLPP is the housing financing liquidity facilities offered by the Indonesian government for the unbankable low-income facilities as part of the government 1 million houses a year program. The benefits include subsidized down payment, lower interest rate, and with the maximum tenure of 20 years. The government subsidized 90% of the fund, whereas the appointed banks will provide the remaining 10%. Another facility for the low-income market segment is BP2BT aimed for those who already have saving banks accounts. The subsidy is down payment of 45% of the price of the house. The tenure is also 20 years. And the third facility is the SSB, is where the interest rate is subsidized by the government with the tenor of mortgage is kept uh, at 10 years. These facilities for the first home buyer only at the price up to 11,000 uh, US dollars. 
problem related to the availability of affordable housing affects other aspects of community. Poor housing condition affect not only the health of residents, but also the education attainment of their children and the probability of criminal victimization. With lack of housing, a family may need to choose between the roof or a meal, go without health care, child care, or elder care, skip on taxes, savings, or other necessities, or even live in unsafe conditions. This, there is a subsequent economic loss for the community as children become adults who are unable to contribute to society to their fullest potential. A consumer survey conducted in 2020 to find out the reasons behind the slower property sales volume uh, this year indicated various reasons, most of them financial related. 21% of consumers indicated that the increase in raw material price causing high property price to be the reason behind less inclination to purchase property in 2022. Other issues include legal and permit issues, mortgage interest rate, down payment, and tax rate. The cost of housing is affected by a number of factors shown here. Price of land is typically the single most expensive component in the cost of housing in urban areas. The cost of construction itself is dependent on the price of raw materials, which might be impacted by the fluctuation brought about by the global economic and or geopolitical situations. Also taxes and duties levied on construction materials and services rendered by the various professionals in the project. Cost of labor is another significant component of construction costs. Transaction costs, taxes, and legal charges do not need for this elaboration as they are unavoidable. And profit margin on affordable houses is lower compared to a higher income group housing project. The government plays an important role in any housing development, but more so in the development of affordable housing. I would like to take highlight on these two roles. The lack of affordable housing in close proximity to public transportation produces substantial public costs. For the lower income segment, easy access to work and other basic necessities are crucial. And thus the government needs to encourage the development of affordable housing near the public transportation. The second major role of the government is providing access to financing to the unbankable or low lower income segment. This is part of the society who are mostly excluded from the housing market due to the lack of buying power. Development of affordable housing is to be integrated in the large scale township development to make it financially justified. Various types of products, including commercial and public facilities are built to allow synergies and integration strategies. Variety of social classes allows affordability of housing prices carried out by cross subsidy of the low cost by the middle high housing uh, products. Economies of scale allows the construction of better infrastructure and public facilities. Commercial facilities beginning with the small and medium enterprises to a larger commercial facilities and public facilities will serve various social and economic classes creating a positive synergy. Based on our experience in developing large-scale project of affordable and livable city, the following aspect must be considered. Reasonable land price can result in an affordable housing price for a specific target market. Affordable housing price, easy access and affordable transportation costs, affordable utility costs, affordable price of daily necessities, all these factors will be further elaborated through the case studies that will be discussed subsequently. The two projects I'm going to talk about are Citraraya uh, and Citramajaraya, both of which are located in the west of Jakarta. Citraraya can be accessed via the highway and toll road, while Citramajaraya can be accessed by a commuter train. Both townships support the needs for the low-cost housing. 
Chitaraya is a 2,760 hectares development plan with an expected population of 300,000 people. It is the Chiputra Group's largest township development. Its construction began in 1994. The project is located approximately 40 kilometers west of Jakarta. Chitaraya was created to meet the needs of the low and mid to high income market because it's located in the fast growing industrial area. With reasonable land prices, Chitaraya was able to develop a range of housing with prices ranging from 20,000 US dollar to 200,000 US dollar. Today, more than 25,000 housing unit, units have been built and sold and live. More than 1,000 hectares have already been developed and more than 100,000 people are now residing in Chitaraya, making it a vibrant urban uh, area. Um, let me show you the video of the uh, project. Our next project is Citra Majaraya, a 2,600 hectare project targeting to low uh, to middle segment that began in 2015. This project is a joint operation uh, ownership with the landowner. It is located approximately 70 kilometers west of Jakarta. Citra Majaraya is also projected to accommodate a population of 300,000 people upon its completion. Citra Majaraya started selling low-cost, medium-sized houses and shop houses at the beginning of the uh, development with prices ranging from 10,000 US dollar to 70,000 US dollar. This allowed for a healthy profit to revenue uh, ratio. Today, more than 18,000 units have been built and sold. Uh, Life 
is made of millions of steps. Steps we take every day to reach our destiny. Steps that begin at the right place at the right time. Steps at the start of our days. Steps that take us to places, through many roads, to bigger things, to greater achievements. Life is full of steps. Steps to search for existence and perfection. To show the world the best version of ourselves. To be happy. And find peace. Steps we used to take alone that are now taken together in harmony. To build a bright future together. Exploring every possibility and every opportunity that comes our way. Steps that were initially small and now becoming larger. Steps we take for a healthier and more meaningful life. Every step requires energy, but when we step together, we can go further. Life is made of millions of steps. Their steps, our steps, your steps. Take a step into your brighter future at Citra Majaraya, the integrated new town. Affordable, house price, affordable pricing is the key success factor in building a successful affordable township. One way to control construction costs is through design. To achieve this, building, this, building size, room layout, and dimensions can be standardized to ensure optimal usage of raw materials. Design efficiency measures must be taken, undertaken as well. It may be worthwhile to look into alternative methods of construction with considerable low labor costs or quicker turnover, uh, turnaround time. As land prices increase, it may be useful to pivot product type from landed houses to low rise apartments to achieve a land to housing price ratio that is affordable. Using locally sourced materials such as landfill and as well as labor uh, can help keep costs low as it reduces the need for additional transportation costs. We can also be mindful that the use of environmentally uh, sustainable materials. These are pictures uh, some of the housing for the low-end products in Chitaraya and for or on the both projects. So we cater from the low to the uh, bigger house. In addition to being connected to toll road and major roads, it is important to provide mass transportation to increase ridership. In Chitraraya, we initiated implementation of mass low-cost public transportation by cooperating with local bus operators so that the wider low-income community can enjoy affordable transportation to Jakarta, the airport or the surrounding areas. We carried out a similar scheme in Citra Majaraya, providing shuttle buses from the residential clusters to the train station. Another way to provide affordable ridership is through the implementation of a transit-oriented development concept 
as we did in Chitra Majaraya. Chitra Majaraya is located a mere 500 meters away from the Maja train station. This is also a plan for a future, there is also a plan for a future train station being built further in the project for additional convenience. With the Maja train, commun commuters can get to Jakarta in less than 90 minutes. Recently upgraded train station and a double track railway with electro electronic gates makes the project attractive to home buyers. This helped us sell an impressive more than 18,000 units of houses in five years since the project inception. In the picture, you can see two of our ministers uh, visit the project uh, by train. Transit-oriented development and affordable housing are important on their own, but are more meaningful in tandem. Affordable TOD results in greater opportunity, better access to jobs, quality schools, other amenities for its residents. When built together, the positive impacts of transit-oriented affordable housing are multiplied. Affordable TOD results in housing and transportation cost savings for residents, increased ridership for transit agencies, relieve congestion on roads, increase residents' disposable income, provide new jobs and economic development, integrated neighborhoods, and environmental benefits from reducing vehicle miles travel. One major component of household spending is utilities and maintenance costs. So energy saving has become an important element to cut down on living expenses. In both Chitraya and Chitra Majaraya, houses are designed to help homeowners benefit from efficient energy consumption, leaving more disposable income for other needs. Most of our houses have received the H certificate, that's this stand for Excellence in Design for Greater Efficiency from IFC, International Finance Corporation, a member of the World Bank, for fulfilling at least 20% reduction in electricity usage, 20% reduction in water consumption, and 20% of embodied energy in building materials, respectively. This in turn provides a saving in electricity and water costs significantly. Here we elaborate on some design standards and building specification we use in order to receive energy efficiencies. There are simple ways to, that many people can do to help cut down our on utility expenses at home. For example, using external shading devices and large windows to maximize heat to minimize heat and maximize natural airflow, or using dual flush water closet and low flow faucets to reduce water wastage. As a simulation, by adding 4.7% cost for the houses, these houses can save more than 30% from its consumption in water, electricity, and embodied energy in building materials. With a payback period for approximately 1.8 years, it is equivalent to annual saving of approximately 7, 000, more than 7,000 US dollar. To ensure sustainable growth of a new urban uh, development, including that of an affordable housing development, the housing area must be well integrated with supporting facilities, such as social, educational, health, and commercial. The quantity and types of facilities must be in line with the population growth of the project. This cannot be separated from the character or culture of the local population so that it can economically run, grow, and build strong community resilient. City scale developments such as Chitraya and Chitra Majaraya are planned to comprehensively to ensure even distribution of population, infrastructure network, and facilities. Synergy and integration are carried out by opening up access and connectivity to the surrounding areas and expanding the scope of commercial center services from within the area. A healthy and positive social cohesion is expected to take place with the surrounding settlers. The numbers of facilities related to basic necessities, such as education, commercial, health, and fitness, security, and places of worship that we can have constructed in our project. 
Some are managed by the developers, whereas others are constructed by the government or third parties. All these facilities help boost the local economy and create a vibrant and productive community. It is necessary to build shopping and commercial areas that consist of both modern as well as traditional facilities. As time progresses and economic activities grow uh, in Chitaraya, we have built a modern market that sells affordable daily goods, as well as commercial areas and shopping mall, so that residents can fulfill their needs nearby. To encourage new economic activities, we often take the initiative to give incentives for the startup businesses and the small and medium enterprises in the project area by providing free or subsidized retail spaces. Let me conclude that to build a low cost housing project and to remain profitable and sustainable, there are the prerequisites, reasonable land price allowing for the attainment of low housing prices, a large scale integrated development to allow cross subsidies, government support for provision of main infrastructure network public utilities such as electricity and water, main access to major neighboring cities. Chitraraya benefited by the toll road and Chitramajaraya by the upgraded and improved commuter, commuter line. Affordable housing can grow into a living city by providing, the, by the provision uh, of a well-planned integrated public, social and commercial facilities. The construction of facilities can be developed in line with the growing number of residents as the needs and demands develop. Arrangement of social community embracing activities such, such as group sports activities, mutual efforts in preserving the environment, encouragement of healthy and environmentally friendly lifestyles from the school to the community level is essential. Thank you.